Hello, book foxes. Welcome back to the channel. Can one moment of love and tragedy change the course of generations? The God of Small Things explores just that. Welcome to at the Book Fox Summaries, where we simplify books for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today, we're diving into the Booker Prize winning novel, The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy, a story of forbidden love, social discrimination, and the lasting impact of childhood experiences. This novel published in 1997 not only won the Booker Prize but also sold millions of copies worldwide, making it a significant work in modern Indian literature. This novel falls under the genre of literary fiction and has been praised globally for its lyrical prose and profound exploration of social and cultural issues in India. It has been recognized as a modern classic and a vital piece of post-colonial literature. As the title and thumbnail promise, by the end of this video, you'll understand why The God of Small Things is considered a masterpiece and how its themes resonate with readers around the world. By the end of this video, you'll have all the essential insights to decide whether The God of Small Things should be your next read or purchase. The story is set in the small village of Ayamanam in Kerala, India, and revolves around the lives of fraternal twins Estha and Rahel and their dysfunctional family. The narrative shifts between two timelines, 1969, when the twins are seven years old, and 1993, when they reunite as adults. The novel explores the events leading to a tragic accident in their childhood, the death of their English cousin Sophie Maul, and the forbidden love affair between their mother Amu and Valutha, an untouchable. The central theme of the novel is the rigid social structure of caste and class in India, and how it dictates the lives of the characters. The narrative also delves deeply into the idea that the small things, moments of love, fear, and innocence, can have profound life-altering consequences. Let's meet the central characters, Esta and Rahel, whose lives are forever altered by the events of their childhood, Amu, their mother, who defies societal norms for the sake of love, and Valutha, the untouchable who becomes the tragic hero of the story. Other significant characters include baby Kochama, the manipulative grand-aunt, and Chaco, the twins' uncle, whose return from England sets the tragic events into motion. Each character in the novel undergoes significant development. Amu's transformation from a hopeful young woman to a broken, ostracized figure is particularly poignant. The twins, Esta and Rahel, are deeply affected by their mother's love affair and Sophie Maul's death, which leaves them scarred and distanced from each other for years. The novel explores several profound themes, the destructive nature of rigid social norms, the consequences of forbidden love, and the innocence of childhood being shattered by harsh realities. Another key theme is how the past and present are interconnected, influencing the characters' lives across generations. These themes are not just confined to the novel, they resonate in real life. The story raises important questions about social justice, the impact of colonialism, and the cost of breaking societal taboos. It's a powerful reminder of how deeply entrenched social structures can affect personal lives and relationships. Best phrases from the book are, they all broke the rules, they all crossed into forbidden territory, they all tampered with the laws that lay down who should be loved, and how, and how much. He knew the law, what you could do and could not do. He knew who should be loved, and how and how much. These phrases capture the essence of the novel's exploration of forbidden love and the societal laws that dictate personal relationships. They highlight the tension between individual desires and social expectations, a central conflict in the story. What I find most compelling about The God of Small Things is how Roy weaves together the personal and the political, the intimate and the societal. The narrative's non-linear structure and lyrical language draw you in making you feel the emotional weight of each moment. The themes of social discrimination, the impact of colonialism, and the consequences of breaking societal norms are still relevant today. This novel encourages readers to reflect on their own lives and the societal structures they navigate, making it a timeless piece of literature. In summary, The God of Small Things is a powerful exploration of love, loss, and the societal forces that shape our lives. It's a novel that stays with you long after you've turned the last page. As promised, you now have all the information needed to decide if The God of Small Things is a book you'd like to read or purchase. If you're drawn to stories that challenge societal norms and delve into the complexities of human relationships, this novel is definitely for you. Its rich narrative and deep themes make it a rewarding read. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. 
If you enjoyed this summary, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Book Simplified, Minds Amplified, see you in the next summary. Book Simplified, Minds Amplified, see you in the next summary.